what's up guys welcome back for another dev pro dual video first of all before i start out uh something very important now i'm on yugioh pro so not on dev pro and at this moment both uh, dev pro and yugioh pro don't have the new cards yet so no dragons of legend and uh, no duelist advent Although, you can download an unofficial update on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro so that all the new cards are available. And I also think uh, a lot of glitches, like with uh, the Dragon Stars, are fixed uh, on this release, on this update. But uh, keep in mind, this is not an official update. And this brings us with a very big problem. Sadly, if you're playing any new cards, uh, you, you can't play online, so I have... Uh, yeah, so I have no way to show dual videos unless I play against the computer. Uh, and we know how terrible he is. Like, everybody who played Tag Force on the PSP and played a Tag Duel on there, your partner, the computer always screwed you over. Like, activating Mirror Force on Sinister Serpent or tributing your own good monsters for Neos, for example. Uh, so I sincerely apologize for this. Uh, the only way I can show any dual videos is against the computer. So this kind of testing is definitely not something to, to build on, uh, that your deck is any good or, or something like that. Um, but still a fun way to play with the new card, so I gave it a try. Soul Charge is one of the most broken cards in a long time, like on the level of the Dragon Rulers and Spell Code Judgment. Uh, we've already seen how broken it is in combination with only just one Lone Fire and to make an easy Quasar at hardly no cost. Uh, one of the decks that I'm trying out is Chaos Agents with uh, both Soul Charged and Curry Bandit uh, as a mill engine and at the same time digging for your power card and setting up your graveyard for your boss monsters. More in the deck profile. Okay, off to some duels. So the first deck that I'm testing against or playing against is Fire Fist. And I think, yeah, the computer gets to start, he gets to start. And uh, obviously he opens the, the spirit combo. So he's going to end with Horse Prince and the Chicken, the Rooster. Uh, I don't know if he has any kind of back row outside the Tencent. No, outside the Tencent, no back row. So my opening hand. Um, I do play double Trade-In. Trade-In is an excellent card to set up your Christia in Grave. Uh, to get, uh, for example, a first turn one or two Christias with boss monsters, Hyperion, and so on. So sadly no Venus, so I'm forced to just, just normal summon my Earth and search out Venus. And we know he has, a, I think, the bear in hand, so I don't want to get raped uh, next turn. So I think I'm forced to activate my Soul Charge here. Um, I can't attack. I also don't have any uh, targets for Hyperion to banish. But um, yeah, I think, yeah, at this moment from the grave that is. And I think this was the better move since now I have the Christian field with the bottom of the set, so some kind of protection. He cannot special summon, make Art Knight or whatever, and he needs to waste his Tencent. And for the Tencent, I have the Honest. So, so uh, Chris, yeah, luckily Christian survives. Um, yeah, Earth is destroyed, no big of a deal. And he's going to search out another Bear and another Tencent from his deck. Okay, so now my turn again. Draw the Breakthrough skill. Uh, yeah, Breakthrough skill combined with Curry Band. This is also very nice, very sweet. Then activate Hyperion. We know it's a phase down Tencent, so it's either the, the Dragon or the Tensu. Um, since, yeah, I can just attack over his uh, Rooster and attack with, uh, I believe, Christia directly and set the Breakthrough skill and pass the Breakthrough for the Bear that's obviously coming. The Wolf Bark, useless thanks to the Christia. Christia is just one of the biggest advantages uh, Chaos Agents have and just, yeah, with double R3, Call of the Haunted and, and Soul Charge, you can easily reborn it from the grave if it, ends, yeah, if it does end up there thanks to Traden or whatever. Um, yeah, he does have a breakthrough skill, so my monster on 8. And I think yeah, I, I don't have a dark in the grave, but I do have a life Hyperion just in case he has, uh, he has Mirror Force set. So if he has any kind of Mirror Force prison that I lose my Christia, I can follow up with Venus and Hyperion in hand, so no problem there. Um, although he's forced to pass. Drawn to Call of the Hunted. Not, yeah, I also don't want to summon my Venus just yet, since I do have... Uh, the triple shine ball still in the deck. Uh, yeah, then my turn. Draw into yeah, charge with Light Brigade. I'm testing um, the yeah this uh, yeah, Chaos Agents with uh, one Lila and one Raiden and one Charge just again to fill up your grave um, and yeah fill up your uh, triple Soul Charge. Um, so yeah, sadly I did mill my Lila, so I was forced to search up my Raiden. Then I think yeah this. Didn't really matter, he activates MST on the call, so 
yeah, it just could have set the MST, but whatever. Um, the next tool is against Gear Gears, and um, yeah, now the computer is playing my um, OCG Gear Gear deck, so it's uh, uh, the deck of the, the OCG ban list with uh, Heavy Storm, also believed Monster Reborn. And as we know how, the, how terrible the computer is, he already activates his Gear Gear gear, so let's say Derry did not activate uh, his Gear Gear gear. Um, and also you see that he also went for Birdman, so normally it just should have ended with uh, the Venus Shane and the Gear Gear gear. So now um, I wanted to activate Venus, he changed Venus Shane. Um, luckily I milled again my Lila, so I'm going to Soul Charge into the field, destroy the Venus Shane, so let's see, he still has that face down Gear Gear gear. Um, and yeah, no monster, because he did have an accelerator, I, I think, on the first turn. Uh, so I activate Venus two times, and I have a few options. Uh, I have the BLS engraved, but no dark whatsoever. Uh, I play three Curry Bandits, so those are darks with uh, cores. Then, yeah, I activate Herald, so that sets up my Hyperion on the field, so I can banish a Shine Maul. And now it's either, uh, I, yeah, I want to keep my Herald of Orange Light life, so it's either the Raiden or the BLS, and since I don't have a Dark, I'm going to send back the BLS. Then I'm going to activate my Hyperion, and yeah, now I probably would have destroyed this back row with Hyperion instead of, uh, yeah, the Berman on the field. But as you'll see, uh, it probably, uh, yeah, didn't matter that much, since I do have Warning, and I do have uh, Herald of Orange Light, and both cards uh, aren't used during this duel. Sorry for the spoiler. Uh, so I'm not going to warning his uh, Gear Gigant X, also not going to activate my Herald, keep it for more important cards. Um, so I do have few targets for Hyperion. There, I, there is a Curry Bandit, so I can set up my Grave more. The back row, I think, yeah, I think I'm going to sort the back row. Yeah, the back row is the, more, the most scary. And uh, here, here I see that he's playing Heavy Storm, so it's definitely an OCG oriented deck. Yeah, with OCG balanced Heavy Storm is legal there. Uh, no big deal. Uh, it's just testing. So a normal summon Arcus. Uh, normal summon the Raiden and Mill. I believe an MST and Gale Saucer, so not that great. Um, I'm going to Synchro. Yeah, since we know it's the armor set that we can destroy or use as Herald. And the armor Herald also a nice target to banish for Hyperion. Then, um, yeah, if he has any kind of threat, I do have the warning set. And uh, have, yeah, Herald of Orange Light in my hand, so I think I'm I'm very much uh, yeah in a nice position to win the duel. Again, that one back row, but we know how good Hyperion is. So activate Hyperion and banish the Herald to destroy the face down bottomless. He does have 7,500 left. Um, then yeah, normal summon. I think I have uh, one Shine Ball left in the deck, indeed. So I'm going to activate the Venus, special summon the Shine Ball, and Shine Ball is being destroyed by Scrap Dragon and destroy his face down attack for huge damage. Um, yeah, I don't think Christy is live. I think I have like two uh, fairies in the graveyard. Uh, but yeah, again, sitting on the Herald, sitting on the Warning, uh, I don't think uh, anything can happen. Yeah, and just in case he has something like Dark Hole, I can recover with Christia. Uh, or yeah, Hyperion into Christia. Depends on how many uh, fairies I have in the grave. So he does have uh, the accelerator set, but this is always game over. So I, I don't know if it, it mattered that much that he went for uh, like Birdman and uh, the, the, the stupid opening. But yeah, sorry, I, I can't uh, change that. Uh, the last duel of the video, my opponent is playing Heraldics. So immediately start off with Charge, Charge of the Library Gate, and I also, I think, mill the uh, mill a BLS, not name, Hyperion and the Shine Ball. Um, so I'm forced to normal summon the uh, Earth. Um, the other possibility was to normal summon Curry Bandit uh, or Lila. Lila to mill three, but I think the the most important thing is to get your Venus as fast as possible. Um, so here I'm going to keep the Soul Charge uh, in my hand just in case. Again, uh, it's just better to go for the Venus and wait with your, with your Soul Charge to reborn huge boss monsters. I only, I, I think I only have. Uh, uh, one Hyperion in Grave? No, the Earth and the Shine Ball, that's it. Uh, yeah, so here he activates his uh, effect of Plain Coat, so now I... Uh, this, yeah, the, yeah, one Shine Ball destroyed, because both have the same name, of course. Uh, didn't really matter that much, since my plan was to go for Daigusto Phoenix and attack... Uh, activate Daigusto Phoenix effect to detach the Shine Ball, and uh, then I would have uh, had four uh, fairies in the Grave for Christia. 
so not big of a deal. Then get that Christia on board. Yeah, Christia is pretty much game over against Heraldic since they do play uh, five or six monster reborns, and uh, alongside the MST set, breakthrough skill set. This should be always game over. Uh, Draw into Chaos Sorcerer and with the Curry Bandit immediately going to set that up. Uh, yeah, unless he has a... Yeah, I don't think he can uh, draw into something. So in the end phase I'm going to uh, excavate the top 5 cards of my deck. So everything is sent to the grave and I'm going to pick the bottom one. So very nice. Already setting up my soul charge in hand. Uh, end phase MST his back row. But it's just, I don't think I can make uh, or grow for game. So normal summon the Lila attack over his Unicorn attack with Christia directly and set the bottoms and pass. So just in case he has something like Dark Hole, the Christia is bounced back to the top of the deck and also going to mill uh, the breakthrough skill. So nice, nice. Uh, yeah, the Basilisk, but that won't save him. Uh, so good game. Yeah, going to activate the breakthrough skill. Uh, because yeah, I don't think uh, from your deck that uh, Basilisk gets damage. So GG, let's see the deck list. Um, yeah, we know how inconsistent uh, how inconsistent agents can be uh, because of the huge amount of boss monsters the deck plays. Christia, Hyperion, BLS, and so on. Curry Bandit helps the deck by setting up your grave, and if you mill a Soul Charge, for example, or excavate, it's an instant pick to add it to your hand. Curry Bandit is also a dark. It sets up your grave for all your boss monsters and uh, charge. It also digs for soul charge and can mill a breakthrough skill. Um, at this moment I'm playing it over Dory Guide. Uh, a few decked cards in here like Raiden, uh, Lila and Chartered Library Gate to help set up your grave and we know uh, soul charge prevents you from having a battle phase for the turn. So both Light Swords uh, uh, yeah, the, the Raiden and the Lila can put the pressure on your opponent. Like, for example, if you make a huge monster reborn with Lila destroying one of their back rows and Raiden uh, mills two cards from your deck, and you can follow with the Synchro Summon later. Also, Raiden puts your boss monsters uh, to the grave in the grave. Like, for example, first turn Raiden with Christia, or, and then eventually Soul Charge to reborn your Christia. Is, yeah, Christia is pretty disgusting. Uh, to conclude the video, there are tons of cards you can test out. Uh, tour guides, other synchros like Leo or Exceeds, as you see in the, in the, the side deck. Upstarts, Forbidden Lands, and also Vanity's Emptiness, which is going to be a very important card. It's, it's, it's pretty much a one card out against uh, Soul Charge from the opponent, and it's free. So definitely something to keep in mind. Okay guys, again, my apologies for these kinds, uh, these kinds of duels, but at this moment there is no other option uh, for Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro or Dev Pro, uh, unless we get an official update. Okay, thanks for watching, and feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave them starting out. Peace.